Welcome to Real Estate Update. I'm Allie McNair along with James Wedgworth. How you been? Great. Good to be here. Good to uh, see you again. I've got to ask you, things are really, really moving here on the island. Uh, this is the most fun segment I've taped. And we, how long have we been doing this? Forever. Uh, you know what? I, I found an old uh, thing on YouTube with the two of us back. Ready? Yeah. Like 2010, something yeah. like that. We'll have to show people. We haven't changed at all yeah, yet. Sure, sure. Um, what about... You have and I have. Yeah. Well, no, we, we're doing okay. We're yeah. still here, thank yeah. goodness. What about inventory on the island? How are we doing uh, with that? People I, looking? I assume you were going to ask me that. So I, I did. I did some. I did some research for you. If I can uh, read these numbers. See, the numbers really don't mean anything unless you compare it to the same day last year. What we call same door sale, okay. same store sales. At the present time, there are 113 homes for sale in all of Hilton Head. This time last year, there were 604 homes for sale. A year ago, okay. Now villas, and I got bluffed in numbers too, but villas on Hilton Head, there's 71 on the market today. There were 454 a year ago. Now, homes, this is the important part. Homes we sold, when I say we, I don't mean James Wedgworth, I mean the well, market. you can take credit yeah, for it. What yeah. the heck? Uh, we've sold 357 homes in the last 90 days and 419 uh, villas in the last 90 days. Now, if you convert that, and you and I have talked a lot in the past about uh, Supply. How much? Right. Remember when I used to say we got an eighteen month supply of houses? Anything over six months is ex excess inventory. Right. We have a one month supply of homes wow. and a two week supply of villas. You know, and that just uh, that blows my mind in the sense that when we were kind of recovering. The real estate market, I mean, the condo or villa market was just not bouncing back as much. And it's now, the home market, yeah. Well, one of the reasons <laughs> your villas are your lower, lower price properties and they're, they're selling better. But I'll switch to Bluffton just to give you an idea. There are 112 homes for sale in Bluffton. There were 839 a year ago. Okay, in the last 90 days, we have sold 656 homes. Which, if you do the math, the Bluffton market, that is a two week of inventory. Now, in theory, what that means was it would, if nobody lists their house, it would take us two weeks to sell the inventory we have. So at the end of two weeks, we have zero inventory. Zip now, that's in theory, but we have, as I've told you in the past, we have what we call the six month line. Historically, a six month inventory is a what we call a balanced market house doesn't go up in value doesn't go down in value if you exceed six months of inventory your house goes down in value supply and demand right so price it, is still going up then or? yeah okay way up because you, the inventory is low mm -hmm. see anything below six months of inventory usually your prices go up now it depends on how much we We've done a lot of research in 04 and 05 when the market was so strong. Now, back in 04 and 05, we had one month of inventory and prices went 25% a year. So now we've got less than one month of inventory, which means prices have really been going up. That's crazy. It's a great time to be a real estate Yeah, budget. I'm sure you're not too unhappy right yeah. now. <laughs> um, when you look at this market, and you've spoken a little bit about compared to a year ago, um, can you talk about long-term too? I mean, what... What's what have you seen? Because you've been on the island and doing this for quite a while, almost forty years. But who's counting? I tell everybody I, I started selling real estate in middle school. Did you? you? Know. What, yeah. did, what was your first sale? Like a tricycle or something? I don't know. No, uh, the, it's interesting you ask that question. The number one question I get asked multiple times a day, probably a dozen times a day is how long is this going to last? Because everyone wants to sell at the high point. Everybody wants to sell at the high point, but nobody <laughs> knows. We always sell and one person gets the high point. But if you if you take it back to inventory, for instance, just say Hilton Head Plantation, there were 87 homes this time last year. There are 11 homes now. Wow. Uh, C Pines, there are 23 homes. There's 165 last year. Here's the interesting statistic. In the last seven days... We've had 160 sales in the MLS. In the okay. last how many days? Seven days. Now, the average days on the mark, actually the medium, was the average, medium, whatever, is seven days. In other words, most of the houses sell 
within that seven days. Some of them sell within a day, some of them sell within two weeks. But of the 160 sales of medium, is seven days. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now, the question is, how long is it going to last, okay? Here's what I tell people. I said, first of all, there's no such thing as a straight line up or a straight line down. Nothing lasts forever. By nature, we all assume it's going to last forever. Everybody assumes. Sure. Like when the market's bad, everybody just goes, oh, this is always going to be bad. Mm -hmm. And when it's good, they say, oh, it's going to be good forever. We know that's not true. So nobody knows for sure. There's, there's factors that determine, but we know, based on historical data, that nothing lasts forever. Now, there have been some changes that affect that. I actually talked to an economist, and this is what he said. He said, we're going through the largest, he used the word reorganization of the housing market. Which means what? What does that mean? The way people look at housing and how it affects the market. He said the largest reorganization since the end of World War II. Really? Now, what happened at the end of World War II, everybody came home, you had the GI money and all right. people were doing all this, and you had all these subdivisions. Mm -hmm. See, prior to World War II, there was no such thing as subdivision. Right. Levittown was probably the first up in the New York, Philadelphia area where people would go in and build track houses, right. and that never existed before. Hmm. So that was a reorganization. So basically, from 1945 to 2020, how many years is that? Six? That's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I, had to, I had to get my calculator yeah, out. That's all right. Yeah. But there was quite an organization. Sure. So, so that's like a 75-year period where it kind of strung along the same. But now it's changed. It's changed a couple reasons. One reason is people are spending more time in their homes. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, you, not because of COVID, but yeah, I wonder once go every, well, you and I have been vaccinated. Yeah. But I mean, it, once things kind of go back to norm, are people still going to be spending more time in their homes? Who knows? Well, I mean, that's where he's talking about reorganization. Right. What he's saying, this change is going to be with us for a while, Okay. which gives us hope for the real estate market. I've got a good friend that's in the furniture business and they're doing great. Outdoor that is furniture. crazy. Outdoor furniture, he yeah. cannot. He'll get a truckload in. It's gone the next yeah. day. It's, it's like exercise equipment for a while there, although yeah. people are going back to gyms. So, you know, yeah. there was like a six-month backlog for treadmills or yeah. bikes or anything. So here's my question to you then. You say nothing goes up straight or comes down straight. So there is kind of like a slope. Mm -hmm. Are we or the experts able to see when that slope is starting to do this? Or Not is it until only easier to, in retrospect? Yeah. You know, 2020 is, hindsight's always 2020. It's not like the stock market where you got charts. We have our charts, but not to the degree of sophistication mm -hmm. that they do. So you don't know the market slowing down and starts slowing down. But the best way you can tell when the market starts slowing down is two, two ways. Days on market go up. Right now there's seven. So if they start going to 30, which a couple of years ago we would have been uh, happier than anything yeah. if it sold in 30 See, days. Uh, yeah. A year ago we were running, I think, 182 days on market. Wow. That's now we're crazy. Seven. That's crazy. So you watch days on the market closely and you watch inventory. Right. So if, if we in see inventory going up and days on the market, that may be a sign that it's slowing down. Okay. Now we know you, you can't sustain the seven day days on the market. I but mean, you're happy that, while it's happening. <laughs> of course, you know, you know, if you stick in this business yeah. long enough, it, yeah. it'll, all, it'll get better over long term. But that is probably the two things that you could look at the most. Okay. Now, very few people look at that. People don't think about it unless you're in the business. We look at it every sure. day, but we're in the business. So you would expect us to look at it every day. But it, but it has really been a change. Uh, people are spending more time in the house. There, you, as you well know, you got friends here trying to remodel the house. You can't get anybody to do the work. Yeah. You know they're all so busy, and you can't buy a stove. You can't buy this because it's all on back order. Lumber's up. All those things have been have really been a change in the market. So the way people look at real estate now is they want to spend more time in the house, which means they sometimes want to buy a newer house, want to buy a larger home. Uh, so you got people buying larger homes here, and you got people downsizing to smaller homes. So there's everybody's moving. 
I want to ask you something. You, you triggered a thought with me about builders and lumber, et cetera. There is a lot of new construction going on um, right now on the island. Mm -hmm. Has, uh, is that like a huge change? It's got to be. I, I hadn't seen that a couple years ago, the amount of uh, new homes being built or... Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because people, you got to understand that we went through a 10-year period where very, very few homes, new homes were built. If you look at MLS, if you take the 113 homes that are active in MLS and sort in the computer by year built. Right. Oh, it's interesting. It's the homes all built in the 80s probably. Wow. Because we went through a 10-year time period where we had virtually no new homes coming on the market. The banks weren't loaning to builders because right. in the recession, when it ended, the bank says, we're not going to do this again. We're not going to do this again, you know. Yeah. So they weren't loaning to builders. Right. So there's a, a shortage of newer inventory available, and people can't buy an old house, so they buy a new house. Right. Now, are, are, is the new inventory getting snapped up quickly? Yes. Interesting. You know, we have to take a break right now, but we're going to have much more with James Wedgworth right after this. <laughs> 